Hey, this is Sapphire Chow and welcome back to another Chow Garden Let's Play episode of the Season 2 variety. Today we have no dome. Yes, we have more space now. It's more spacious. Yeah, I, I, I sent the dome to to dome hell or something, to, to, the, to, to dome jail, so we don't have a dome anymore. And that's another option you can choose in uh, the enhanced chow world. A um, few other things I want to show off. Uh, let's go Let's go in here, let's so we'll show you our progress so far. Uh, now I believe he has a horny chow, which I do not want to happen just yet. Or maybe I could, maybe. Um, because, yeah, you're horny, as well as our, uh, randomized chow. That didn't take long. Um, this chow here is Woody, and they've got pretty decent stats, actually. Um, but their DNA would be just all over the place, like... Uh, where's their DNA? I, I, like, I don't even know what I'm looking at with their DNA. There's a lot of textures, there's... Really awesome luck and intelligence ranks, but very mediocre ones on the other side. Uh, weird colorings. Uh, I don't even know because DNA is randomized and doesn't always match. Seem to match phenotype, and it just messes with my brain. So um, I'm gonna I guess leave you there. But I was thinking maybe actually since Copper is here doing that. I could potentially, we could potentially look into um, combining uh, textures and shiny chow together actually. So maybe we might, maybe we might do that. Um, now as you might remember we have our, uh, our rushing lad who has his uh, metal. I could potentially make some more texture chow. Potentially. So maybe that I don't actually how horny is is this chow anyway? I don't even know. Where, where's your actually? Oh wow, your main design is actually way high. So yeah, yeah, definitely. You're very, very much a good suitor. I haven't got a designated breeding episode yet, but you know what? We're just gonna make it a once-off breeding. Leave it up to chance. I don't really mind. Um, let's just see what we end up getting because I really hope we get a texture chow, and I really hope that shiny passes over. Um, maybe which which does it probably, yeah. Oh, look, maybe I might be down the track. I'll probably have to do a dedicated breeding episode just so we can showcase that specific um, specific trait because that's a new thing in uh, Ch Chow World Extended, or well, relatively new. It wasn't it wasn't a feature when I was playing the first season anyway. All right, what do, what do we even have? Oh, okay. We just have a we got a jewel. Looks angry. Is it any good? It's got an A, it's got an S. It's a pretty smart. Yeah, that's pretty much all I've got at the moment. We could hold on to this chair, maybe, or I can just put it up for adoption in uh, Discord for those who follow um, Chow Island. Um, I might put, might even put that up on Discord. So, uh, actually, where, where is the other chair? Probably fallen. Maybe they're no, long, no longer horny. That's fine. I don't know where they went. Maybe they escaped with Houdini or something. Actually, you know what? I've got I've got a feature that I haven't shown off yet. If I hold X and Y at the same time, we have names. Oh, this is it for this child. This child doesn't have a name. Um, I think it's like a bit of a feature in Dreamcast, which they've brought back here, which is kind of nice. Um, you know what? I'm guessing. Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> Your schman's a floating head. That's actually I love that. That's like that's kind of funny. Um, oh, okay, they're right up there. Never mind. Uh, I, I I can't. I don't think I can reach that. That's fine. But anyways, oh no, you're drowning. Can't let you drown. Um, we got we got some stuff for not glitch. We got stuff for uh, our knife. Our very stabby knife. Because uh, I did, I did sharpen up their stats, uh, for at least three of them anyway. And we're going to make the uh, the Chow Doctor quite rich today in this particular episode. So that, that's gonna that's gonna be some good fun. Yeah, won't that be fun, knife? You having fun? You winning, son? I don't know. Anyway, uh, let's go to health center. Looks like you have a right. 
Don't waste- oh, wait, you're sick? Oh my- what? <laughs> I did not realize! <laughs> okay, you're right, you're, you're a right, now you're- now you're- now you're- now you're a left instead. Um, alright, this is their life. But anyways, uh... We're gonna increase... That doesn't look right. But anyway, we're gonna increase, uh, your stats. Which, uh, swim, run, and power. So, if I do this correctly, D-pad up. There we go. There we go, D-pad, Y, uh, the, on the right. Got our power. And on the left. And I believe the three is the cap in terms of uh, how many times we can incre increase that. But now we're, they're looking a bit more viable now for those races. So I'm probably going to off-screen most of their uh, stats just to save the time. Because I know a lot of our episodes we have a lot of raising of the stats. But that's chow raising in a nutshell, honestly. Um, yeah. So there, there, there's that. Um, also, I want to show you something off. Here, library! Yes, we have library as part of Enhanced Chow World. Enhanced Tune World. Yes, we have library. Um, so our, our uh, fortune teller has now become a librarian. And this is again an uh, unused feature. This was like a sort of on the cutting room floor. Um, it had some additional uh, functions eventually, like, but I don't think they're fully operational. But again, this is just a reskinned fortune teller. So you still give your chow a name. Um, uh, what was a yes? Let me look for a name in my book. <laughs> Let's see now. Aha! How about the name start? No. 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 Okay, yeah. yeah let's just leave that unchanged. Um, you don't look very happy with me. Maybe you're- uh, probably because of the fact that I kept you awake for a long time just to try to get those stats up to level 99. So I'll- I'll leave you be now, knife. Before you try and stab me. Or something. Um... Yeah, so we'll, we'll leave you there. Oh, oh no, you're going to do an edge. Alright, well, let's just run away with this and um, hope nothing bad happens while I'm gone. <laughs> uh, Alright. Now, I was asking what, who, do, who should I give this to? And I wasn't too sure if I had any musically inclined chow, but then I realised we have a chow literally named Vinyl. So, you know what I'm going to do? Vinyl, you are now the proud owner of these headphones. If I can even give these to you. There you go. Yay! So now you can enjoy all your sick vinyl beats. I guess. Yeah, so that, 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 that's uh, his new look. Which is all, all good. Now I have summoned a few... Uh, where are they? Oh, they were kind of slick. We got our underneath here, but we also have some animals. Um, because I'm gonna go spam some stuff on a few different chow. Um, our first chow here is copper. Yeah, copper here. Um, someone did suggest putting antlers on copper, and I think that's a great idea. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do that with some skeleton dogs to try and only have the antlers carry over. So that might take a bit of time. We'll see. We'll see how that goes. But thankfully, all animals are now reusable because I have the mod for that. Oh hey, you never got the antlers. But now we just need to remove- we need to make sure your feet are nice and janky. I'd be surprised if this, this, this goes very quickly. I know getting very specific animal parts this way can take a very long time. Like a very long time for those who try and really make the aesthetic for your chow. And you lost the antlers. It's always the one thing I want to remove that doesn't get removed. Anyway, as a, as a bit of an update, um, our next episode will be a guest episode. So, um, details in description, I'll say that send them over Discord. Um, yeah. And, uh, yeah, so we can send your chow file that way. And next episode will also likely be streamed and cover some of the races. So that is another thing, another feature. I want to show off as well. And the antler's gone. Kind of. Oh no. <laughs> this is gonna take some time. Actually, I do like those little front ear thingies. I think I want to keep that in the an in the antlers. But this this the, we, we're gonna we're gonna be here a while. And I think uh you're gonna look less janky now, Copper, because I'm balancing out your your power. 
No, I don't want that. All right, let's let's just see. All right, we're nearly there. We just need to get rid of those arms. Oh my god, the antlers are gone again. <laughs> Yeah, we'll, we'll be here a while. Um, a few other small things. Oh my god, the feet do not want to go away. Um, someone did mention whether or not I've, I've like overcome sort of that burnout sort of thing. Because I think was, did going, was going through quite a bit with that. Um, but also, yes, yeah, probably not really. I'm, I'm, I think 2020 did really kick me in the metaphoric nuts really hard so I don't think it's uh it's gonna I don't think it's gonna it's gonna take a lot more time I think to actually fully recover from all that I on honestly reckon but um look honestly I'm just trying to be mindful of that and yeah try not to be bite off more than I can chew and hey we've finally done we done it we got we got your animal parts I'm happy but now I'll probably just spam some more power on you so we can make you more janky because uh, you've lost your jank and we, we gotta we gotta bring back the jank for you all right, so the other, the other animals we need to give is... I'm just going to give some stuff to Knife. Um, just to get things started. Um, because, you know, if you want to speed run uh, full level 99, at least in vanilla, um, for least Chow, the Condor is obviously the, the, the choice animal for that because they give an insane amount of fly and a little bit of um, power and swim as well. So by the time you reach level 99 of fly, uh, you probably have a pretty agreeable amount of swim and power as well. And the same goes for the robin, if I can find it. They're probably, they're probably all swimming. The robin, this near. The Soul Giver DX robin is the equivalent of the condor here, so it gives us the same amount. Uh, which, will be, which will be helpful, so depending on which game you're playing uh, uh, in vanilla at home, uh, these two are the go-to animals for, for getting the, that good fly stat. And just generally maxing out those those levels. But another thing I was sort of also want to mention is maybe this is me just being a bit of a, a critic or something. Um, but going back editing the past episode, I realize I'm really bad at enunciating myself. Like just articulating things apparently is really hard. Do doing words is just not my strong suit. I'm, you know, despite the fact that I've probably been doing and recording videos for a while and yet I still forget how to do words properly is it's just kind of annoying. <laughs> and also another thing, oh thank you for saving. Another thing I sort of notice is I, I tend to talk really fast sometimes, maybe a bit too fast, but maybe because my brain is trying to, like is rushing with all these thoughts that my speech is trying to keep up with that. And that doesn't always work. That that kind of makes it a little bit harder to sort of understand what the hell I'm saying. And with the inability to enunciate things, that also can make it harder. So, yeah, I don't know if you guys get that. It's, it's, it maybe is a common problem. Maybe it's not so common. It could just be, could just be a spectrum thing. Because <laughs> yeah, spoiler alert, uh, I'm on the spectrum. Yay. Um, but nah, look, you sort of work around those sorts of things, honestly. And honestly, if I wasn't on the spectrum, uh, I probably wouldn't be making half the videos on this channel for having like such a very specific interest. So it, 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 it can be a challenge, but at the same time, I do consider it a little bit like a, it can be an asset as well. It can be a superpower in some, in some regards. You gotta use that to your advantage and you work around the parts where it might go against you. So yeah, just those little things. But, uh, but you'd be surprised how many people do um, actually are on the spectrum. Yeah. Anyone who is, uh, give me a shout out. Shout out in the comments. Be like, hey, you could do, good to see you. Good to, to just know the fact that, yeah. Because um, some people say it's like, oh, you really eat, like, you know, you're really good at hiding it or something. I'm like, I'm not trying to hide it or anything like that. Or like, people have, have the misconception that only, only guy, only boys seem to have it. But that's not the case. If anything, I find it's more 50-50 with the gender spread, but it's just, again, the, gr the grills are just easier to hide it for some reason. 
I don't know, there must be some sort of um, reason behind it. Some sort of scientific reason, which I do not know yet know, but I'm just speaking from experience and, you know, anecdotal evidence and all that stuff. But yeah, honestly, the reason why I even started doing videos with talking in it was so I could be a little bit better at, at talking in general, because again, my, my pronunciations and my ability to do words and find words for things wasn't really, again, my strong suit. So I think I was trying to build up that confidence and in time you, you sort of, I mean, kind of, maybe? <laughs> I don't know. Do people even see me as confident? Yeah. I mean, yeah. Sometimes I feel like adulting as well because I feel like, because I mean, technically I'm an adult now. I feel like adulting is that like you just get really good at pretending you know what you're doing. <laughs> Something like that. Just because you think adults look like they know what they're doing doesn't mean they actually know what they're doing. If people don't have any idea what I mean. Or something. I don't know, maybe I'm just rambling and I'm just not making any sense to anyone. That could be another thing that could be happening. Um, but yeah. But look, I still want to keep making these little videos for you guys. I know it's a very, I know it's a pretty small channel, even at the moment, and you know, compared to a lot of other YouTube channels that, you know, do you know, hundreds of hours per month of content when I have like barely manage a weekly upload schedule. It's um it can be hard to fight against that algorithm, honestly. But look, I'm I'm sort of beyond worrying about that sort of our numbers, the game. And I just wanna make stuff. I just wanna make stuff for the for the fun of it and enjoy that. So um yeah, so don't don't be don't be too don't be too worried if I maybe skip a week here or there. That's probably just probably a symptom of all the crap that's been going on last year, essentially. So, um, yeah. But I want, like, I'm, st I'm still, I still want to do stuff. I'm, I still do stuff on Twitter. I still do stuff on Discord occasionally. So yeah. So if you just want to say hello, um, you're more than welcome to. I'm, I'm on Chow Island Discords. And yeah. So I, I, I try and do some things. Other times I have to do things in beyond the computer too because adult life. Like um like seriously, uh gone are the days where I can just burn seven hours in a day playing video games. It just doesn't really happen that much anymore because you gotta you know, I got I gotta work and I gotta do the groceries and you know the dishes aren't gonna wash themselves the the, the the lawns aren't gonna mow themselves I gotta do all the boring stuff you know the boring stuff that my parents had to go through so so now that's me that's my life <laughs> and yeah shout out to people who also, and yeah so it's just like shout out to those who also trying to have to try and adult as well I mean I feel like I know how to how to adult but other times I'm just like I don't know. Maybe that's just, just the fact that because I'm in my twenty somethings. Maybe that's that too. Just just a twenty something year old thing that happens at that point in life time thing. I'm super specific, aren't I? I'm, I'm very good at describing things. Definitely not. I'm saying that sarcastically. Anyway, your fly is almost around up there. I kind of like the robin, the robin wings on knife. I might, I might even keep that, honestly. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep any of the condor parts, though. Condor parts, I find it very situational, especially the little hair tufts that they've got there. But honestly, yeah, the reason why I'm giving them animals and not drives is honestly to increase that luck stat and, um... And also just to sort of boost those other stats as well, because you know, boosting those a little additional swim and power will just make it a little bit quicker in the long run. Um, just for raising those other stats. So yeah, that's pretty much that's pretty much what um, I'm doing at the moment. And another thing I also want to mention is um, while our jank lord copper isn't too janky at the moment, which I'll fix off screen. Um, I want to make another shout out because uh, Priestly Pris Flea did um, another lovely fan art of um, Copper's really janky horns, and yes, I do love them. Again, I find the weirder the Chow I make, the more I like them. I just, I just like, I really like making weird-looking Chow. So Copper's definitely up there as one of my favourite aesthetics so far in this series, at least. So yeah. 
But that, that might all change when I finally get glitched to look really glitchy. Which will eventually happen. Sometime, someplace. I might even have to do a little bit of uh, behind the scenes editing to maybe make that possible because their, their stats aren't really up to scratch for a lot of those mega evolution pathways. Alright, we are almost there. With knife. Oh yeah, we, are, we got to level 99 with knife. Nice. So you know what? Uh, I'm actually pretty happy with how knife's looking, even just with animal parts. I'm liking that actually. That's not too bad. Um, now, I think my other to-do list is I just want to test out something in Chow Rays because I do have a code enabled, but I don't know how it really works. So if it crashes, it's fine. If it doesn't, that's also fine. Um, maybe in, in, in the fact that I'm worried about it crashing, let's just bring a glitch. <laughs> in dual races, of course. Uh, Look, they're probably not going to do too well in this. I'm not, I'm not doing this to for them to win. I'm just doing this to check to see what really happens. <laughs> yes! 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 Oh, I have free reign! Maybe. Not really. Okay. okay maybe, maybe it's not very good, such a good idea for me to... Uh... <laughs> There's a lot of... Alright, that's fantastic. What the hell is Eggman even saying? And what? Oh my god. I love this. I love this. I love this. <laughs> Yoshman, get to first place. You are number one. A true, a, the true number one of our of our hearts. He is, he is the true winner. He won the race. You done it. Oh, I love it. I love it. <laughs> yes. Yes! Oh my god. Let's, let's, let's look around, actually. Oh my god, there's, there's so many, um... This is, that's, that's not seizure inducing at all. Clearly Eggman is, like, the fastest creature alive. Oh my god! Oh, I did not realize! Everyone's actually racing here! Oh, hey! Oh! Oh, you guys! Oh, I must have, I must have party race enabled. Oh, I did not realize! <laughs> You guys, hang on, let's go follow this chair. Oh god, where are we? We're good, where are we going? Oh hey! Oh my god, oh my god! Oh hey! Hey guys! How you doing? Oh, we have Rush, we have uh, Copper. Our, our good lads. Um, Pulsar with the last minute choke, we have Ceiling! Who else do we have here? We got our OJ, Houdini, and Garbage. Ah, oh, that's so nice. Okay, so I wasn't expecting our actual whole chow just to just to show up. That's pretty cool. Like, actually, can I pick them up? <laughs> Sorry, Ceiling, you are now the winner. You're you're the, you're the official winner. Yep, you're the winner. The winner is you. Can I pet them? I can pick him up. <laughs> Yosh. Yosh. I yoshed you to the to the end. <laughs> yeah! Come on guys, you know the true winner here was Glitch. And you know it. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Alright, I'm leaving. <laughs> Oh my god, I love that! I love that! <laughs> Alright. Yeah, that that was okay. I didn't realize they actually that I think I must have my, my, my party race thing enabled at the moment. Oh, that's that's fun. That's that's cool. I like that. I should play as Tails actually, that'd probably be good. Um <laughs> Is it really gonna matter who I'm gonna choose? How's you, Vinyl? You got you got the new hat. It's the chow that comes with the new hat. Um, so they just did peridot, peridot. Um, or we could use. Uh, let's go aquamarine because garbage will, will shine there. That's that's what we should do. Yeah. So I don't know where that where they are. Can I even get up there? Nope. 
All right, let's see if I can. All right, there had to be somewhere here, right? Nope, it's the other way, other way, other way. Oh no, where's everyone? Where's everyone? Here they are. Ready? Start. There you go. All right, let's let's see. Let's see. okay. Well, garbage now is early choke, so I think that's game. <laughs> Wait, no, this this is this is this is garbage's redemption arc because he's got the best he's got the best swim. Oh my god, he's falling. I think I need to play his tails here because it would be less falling through the floor. But I love this! Look at all my children go! Look at them all go! And I can just- I can- I can rig this, you know? I just realized I can rig this. <laughs> but I can't, at the same time I don't really want to rig it. Oh my god, who's tripped? Garbage! This is your race, man! This is your race! Stop choking! It's illegal. Can I fall through this? No! Yay, it's solid ground. Yes, you're doing what doing well. Alright, here, here here comes garbage. Here comes garbage. Here comes here comes here he goes. Here comes this lad. I don't think that's gonna be enough. Nah, he tripped too many times. No, okay, you know what, garbage? You win! You win! You win! You win! Oh wait, he's running away. Wait. Wait, where are you going, garbage? You right there? You okay? Uh, garbage. <laughs> Did I break garbage? <laughs> I think I broke garbage, guys. Whoops. Wait, 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 we gotta, we gotta follow him. Wait, where, where's he going? Wait, where are you going there, garbage? <laughs> oh, he's going back, he's going back, he's coming back! Wait, where's he going? He's, he's, he's there. He's still with us. He's just underneath the stage. Um, yeah, I don't think he's coming back. <laughs> and then we, then we have, then we have our glitchy lad. We like, that looks really janky, actually. Look at that. Um, I think I glitch glitch as well. Cool. <laughs> oh good I guys I, I, I think I found my new favorite thing <laughs> oh god um all right I kind of really wanted I really wanted to sort of rig it for one particular chow <laughs> um oh god it would be hard to do because there's a climbing part of it and topaz actually topaz will be more oh, no they're all the way up that top bit. Oh, let's try Topaz. Because I don't know if Eggman can even get up there. Oh, wait, no, it's right here. Never mind. We're good. we good. All right, guys. You ready? You ready for this? Glitch? You're coming with me. You get the head start, okay? You get the head start. All right, you ready? You ready for this glitch? You, I believe in you. You can do this. Alright, uh, ready? Ready to go? Alright, ready to go. Oh god, he's so- he's, he's, he's pretty mediocre. He's like the weakest in the group. <laughs> Alright, here, here comes the others. And look at Copper just go- oh, look at him go. Look at him climb that. And I can't get up there, so... I gotta meet them! Over... oh god. I can't even get- oh no, it's up, it's up the top here, isn't it? I gotta meet them here. Oh my god, you tripped there, Glitch? Really? Come on, Glitch. You can do it. I'm gonna make you do it. Alright, alright, let's go. Let's... Let's freaking go! Go out of the way, out of the way, guys. Out of the way, out of the way, out of the way. Come on, we're gonna make way for Glitch. <laughs> there we go. See? Was that so hard? See, this is how you win. This is this is how you're gonna win, Glitch. This is how you're the true champion. You had no assistance whatsoever. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna grab OJ. Oh my god, I clicked through this. That's pretty cool. All right, so I'm holding you back, OJ. Oh my god, why are you so janky? Oh 
wait, you already got to the end? Okay. Ah! Ah! Ah, cool. Oh, wait, where is everyone? Oh, they're, they're all here. Come on, you guys, as you guys can tell, Glitch was a true champion. <laughs> Alright! Well, that was something. <laughs> that was definitely something. And I'm gonna have a lot of fun with that in the future, I think. <laughs> Anyways, um, with our new accessories for vinyl and copper and uh, knife, I'm gonna I'll, I'll buff out or sharpen up the knife uh, off screen because our next episode we will be doing the. Why am I pausing? We are doing hard mode jewel races. That is what we're gonna be doing. And that's going to be streamed, so it's either going to be either next week or week after. So I will message out things on Twitter and on YouTube about when that's happening so you can catch it live. So look forward to catching you all there and time for me to sign off. So this has been... What is burb? This has been a burb. No, this has been Sapphire Chow. And I am over. And out.